Alright, well, we're just coming. Uh, uh, Stone Star is uh, introducing we are. Uh, so, um, you know, for the people coming in that don't know who I am, oh, you're watching it. Um, okay, so uh, I am Doug Walker. I have a website called Channel Awesome Factory. You guys can watch on YouTube. I do a whole bunch of characters, including as I got from reviews, and this time's great. Come on! Um, I wanted to do a video on that game 
50 cent blood on, blood on the sand. But uh, after I beat it, I realized that I didn't really know enough about hip hop to make a good video on it. So uh, I may come back to that later. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do uh, first and foremost, Best and worst video. Actually, they're both pretty easy for me. Uh, worst is worst measure. Uh, <laughs> you know, I know there's people that like it. Great, thank you. I don't like it. Uh, and that's something I was gonna do, kind of like from day one when Let's Plays were just coming around. But then, like the footage didn't record, so I'm like, oh, okay, I'll get another time. Like a year goes by, I'm like, okay, I'll do it now. I'm like, the audio didn't record. Ah, okay, I'll do it another time. And so it was like five years later, or four years later. And uh, I was just like, okay, let me try it now. And I didn't keep up with how Let's Plays have progressed. And I recorded this. I'm like, yeah, I've recorded stuff I haven't liked before. If people liked it, maybe this would be one. And it wasn't. People hated it. Uh, so, and I was just like, yeah, I'm going up. I didn't think it was very good either. Um, and then my favorite one's uh, Batman. I, I think it, it looks great, it's, uh, the ideas are interesting, I think it's a totally different way to do a review, and uh, people really got into it because of that, and I, I just love those movies, I love that celebration of those movies while also kind of making fun of it. I kind of love the rush, I like the room, bad, but so bad with the door. Good! <laughs> That's amazing, thank you, it's the best compliment I've ever gotten about that. <laughs> the best thing is probably my 300th episode, uh, yes. Holy Terror. Just, just, just for how much heart I put into it, I think the jokes are funny, the material is awful and racist and terrible, and I love ripping that thing apart. I love setting that thing on fire. <laughs> uh, and the ending fight is both enjoyable and just like a fun celebration of everything that's happened over the course of my show. Uh, the worst video I've ever done, uh, probably linking up with Linkara. <laughs> I know, it's like, if we're, if, we're turn, if we're going in terms of like my worth, you know, probably, you know, in terms of... Well, it's so amazing, there's no one I actually dislike. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, I don't, because if I don't like something, the thing is, if I don't like something, I'm not going to release it. At, at, at best, you know, I try to make at least every episode of Top of the World entertaining, even if it's not my funniest. Um, my best video, well, the one I like the most is probably a video I did on Shadow the Hedgehog. That was fun, it's in the video I put a cameo by this guy in it. And um, the worst one I probably released this morning. I got you release a video of you and me? Oh god! Uh, I released a video of, um, have you guys all seen the Ghostbusters trailer? <laughs> Leslie Jones slapping Alyssa McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
there's, a, there's, there's so much stuff to cover with that. There are books, there were books that were good, and there were books that were awful. The general tone of everything is bad. And I've done a few individual comics like Red Hood and the Outlaws, The Culling. God, The Culling was awful. Death of the Family. Death of the Family. Well, the thing is, Death of the Family, the biggest problem with that is it continues this irritating idea of the Joker as this uber powerful, three steps ahead of everybody being in like five places at once kind of idea of the Joker, which is so annoying. He's just some asshole in white finicum. <laughs> 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 Joker getting the <laughs> Well, funny you should mention that, Doug. He tried to convince Batman, actually, that he was literally a spirit of like an evil, ancient, demonic thing that actually they tried to push as the real origin of him for a while. And his blood's a <laughs> so Okay, shut up. Everybody shut up. Let's do it. Come on. Omar, The person with the bag back. Okay. So, what is your favorite movie to just rip and tear apart? My favorite movie to rip and tear apart? Uh, Ghostbusters. Stop putting your hands in. Audience, what is your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, honestly, even though Dark Souls is the worst movie I've ever seen, it's answer to somebody else's question, I'm sure. Uh, my favorite one to rip apart, because I think it's just the worst remake I've ever, uh, ever witnessed was a one thing. Because uh, that original is so masterfully done, and even if you don't think it's scary, it's just a brilliant movie. It's a brilliant character study, it's phenomenal, and like, the remake was just like, oh, well, yeah, cartoon. <laughs> and the CG will really hold up, guys. CG is so scary. Just like these tanks for ghosts going around to scare everybody. It's and it's like, family. no, I can't do what's scary, what was interesting, what was just so, for lack of a better word, haunting about that film. So, uh, gosh, I thought it was really good there. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love the scene where I got my head chopped off. Favorites just make fun of. Uh, dude. <laughs> Episode two. Star Wars. Oh, that? Episode two. Oh, oh, There's a lot of things I haven't done that I could probably do. Uh, I don't know. It depends. Because sometimes it, it really depends on my mood. Because sometimes I'm in the mood for something like like really ultra cheesy. Sometimes I'm in the mood for something 80s to rip apart. Sometimes I just enjoy ripping apart movies I like. <laughs> so I can't really pin down a one single thing. Sadistic. Um, well, I watch a lot of bad movies. The Spirit Within. <laughs> um, probably Miami Connection. That's my favorite movie to just make fun of. Oh, yeah. Friends for eternity, loyalty, honesty. We stick together through thick or thin. Let's <laughs> uh, watch All right, uh, let's go on the back again. Uh, holding up the black thing back there. I'm not out of my glasses on, so yes, you. You're looking behind yourself right now. Can you? Oh, uh, um, my question is for What's your opinion on Super Sentai? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 What's my opinion on Super Good Sentai? Good God. Like Power Rangers. I'm not gonna look at that. If you like it, great. I just the day Power Rangers came out, and where Rob and I, I think we were like, you know, in uh, like seventh or eighth grade or something like that. We just saw this. People date each other, we're just like, dead on arrival. No way this is gonna be a hit. And it's still going! We got Brian Cranston now! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we're way off of that, just, just not our thing. We just only didn't get it. Uh, let's see. Oh, we gotta do that. So, obviously, I'm an enormous soccer fan. Uh, and I love all of your blue reviews, especially your dragon therapy, obviously. And, also, yeah. oh, God. and your uh, shut up and talk. In the show, the talk we do talk about, he's very frank about it, which I think is good. I mean, the dude is just the nicest, sweetest person. I remember there was a line uh, originally, well, like, what are you doing in the review? And the original line was, I'm quietly judging you. 
Since I, I don't want to say that because I don't judge anybody. Yes. <laughs> what an adorable life. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't believe him with that guy because he's such a sweet guy, but he's also he's also kind of reserved too, so it takes a little bit to open him up, but when he does open up, I mean he's such a kind, generous person. And just kind of start from when the Dragon's Lair, the first one for uh, Kickstarter started, and we just put a link on our Facebook, and people were like, hey, I got a lot of people looking at us. Um, we know you've done stuff talking about them, both good and bad. You know, would you be down for helping this, you know, Kickstarter out? And I was like, yeah, he's like, but this one's not doing so well, and we're having trouble getting kind of with Kickstarter, so we're going to do Indiegogo. So can we do, like, a tie-in? I'm like, Tom Blue, spun my heroes, man. So, uh, yeah, so just getting in the Sadie's lines and do that pose, you know, that pose, you know, is so great. Uh, so, yeah, he was just, and he, uh, after we were done, he sent me a drawing of, uh, the prime, my favorite thing he's done, the, uh, the small one. Uh, he sent me a pencil drawing. Oh, uh, just like, I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, super, super sweet guy, I mean, he, he's just as nice, he wrote me a really nice email, too. I mean, just like the sweetest, broken individual. <laughs> uh, and just a big fan of his work, so, yeah, just sort of came about like that, it was really, really cool. Uh, so, uh general, what? Oh, in the back, I saw somebody with the Vulcan hand signal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, favorite movie quote of all time. Favorite movie quote of all time? Oh, man. Garbage day! Oh, that's, that's... I was frozen today! <laughs>
They are more challenging, that's why we don't do a lot of them. Uh, there's at least one more I'd like to do, but I know it's going to take a lot of time. But uh, right now, I can't wait to do it. In my case, it was uh, it was it was coming with parody lyrics. Because I don't know. Have you seen my four hundred episode? Not yet. I go. It's a musical. Well, I was gonna say, has anyone else? I heard it like. <laughs> oh, the, 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 thing is, the thing is, I haven't been taken off of anywhere. The, the problem is that uh, uh, I got hit by a content ID strike. Well, uh, not a strike. There's, there's a very interesting a claim, yeah. a claim on uh, the first part because I did a parody of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, and I used the same orchestration. Uh, so that's where I got hit from that part. Surprisingly, I was pretty hard too to do that because I also did a parody of uh, uh, It's Getting Better All the Time, which has much closer lyrics. So I was like, Really? This is the one you're hitting me for? All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, pro the problem being, the, the problem being with, with it being that just because I decided to do direct parodies of the songs, it's coming up with lyrics that match up with things. The final one, atop the fourth wall will never end, took me forever to freaking figure out because how the hell do I fit in something into Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? How many freaking lyrics? I mean, those syllables of that, yeah. So I got you. I mean, I'm gonna be talking about. Check this out, and I just you to I hear it's amazing. How dare you? <laughs> 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 uh, cool, let's see. Uh, a few more up front we can do in the back. Let's do uh, uh, yellow hat there. So, uh, regarding like, the whole uh, content ID issue, and others. Oh, I'm sorry, this yellow hat. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're talking, I know you're talking. Oh. Yeah. You're talking about me, right? Yes. Okay. So about the whole content ID and words of fair use, there's actually another gentleman on uh, YouTube named John Powell. Um, he kind of has like a different opinion of, of you know what you and, and, and you know everybody that was kind of like with the word what's fair use. He actually um, he puts up a lot of videos just like you do, and he actually does a thing called Movie Night, and it, it's just phenomenal. And he's actually done it a few times. Uh, and he actually had like this whole like half hour video. He had to let know there's a lot of questions. Um, like, have you ever heard of him? And then, like, with like, what's the progress on you know on your end as far as words of fair use? The with the um, uh, with the terms that I'm terrible with names. If I saw the videos, maybe I would recognize him. Uh, you say a name to me, and it immediately disappears. Um, but uh, in, in terms of the progress, I mean they're. And first of all, I'm amazed that it's come up as much as it did. I think that's phenomenal, and I think it's great that people finally come forward, like, no, like, this is a thing, and it's really messing everything up. And, you know, it's just, it's not a good uh, But, I mean, change is already happening. That's what's so exciting about it. YouTube is already changing their policy uh, a little bit, whether better or worse. I mean, we'll see, but the fact that they're changing at all is good. Uh, you know, like we were talking about in the video where the, uh, we said there should be a side pod when somebody claim something and says, well, you should get your monetization, and they just give it to them until you prove them wrong, and then they keep that money. Now there is a side pot, so if somebody says, we want your money, and you say, no, this is ours, they put a side pot, and wait for the claim to be figured out, if they never respond, it goes back to you. So that's really good. Uh, it's still going to take a while to see, you know, if it, you know, stays in practice, you know, if that's, you know, if there's any glitches or any other local goals. But, I, I mean, that's a big step. Uh, and we're also being invited to these uh, copyright round tables, which people like us have never been invited to. Uh, they mostly just had people like in the music business or the movie business that come out, come around, they just talk about, you know, yeah, we gotta stop this damn internet, you know, they're, they bad, piracy, evil, bad, and they would only go off of that. Now, you know, we're saying, hey, this is, others are getting caught in this net. And I'm not bad at piracy, I'm like, I really do not stand by that, and I know it's a monster to battle, but like, other people like this new form of entertainment is coming and growing, and people that just do stuff that has no clips or no anything are still getting claimed. Yeah. And you know that's a problem. So now they're letting people like us come in and talk about it. Uh, we did one in California, we did one in New York, and it's where the next video is going to be talking about how those went. We're waiting for the transcripts to come out because they said they're going to get transcripts of like everything that was said, and we when we talk about it, we like to say here is what they said exactly. So you know it's not like we're paraphrasing. But, uh, I mean, it's going to be a long haul, but we're in it for the long haul. So it's definitely going to be so a long haul. So basically, they're like, we think it's worth it. So putting more value on the content creator. They, they are, yeah. How, how long will that last? How long, how strong will it go? I mean, that's what we're trying to keep going. But, uh, yeah, that's why I still think it's really important. Yeah, good question. Uh, let's see. Lewis, what do you think? All right. Uh, let's uh, go. 
uh, the sword run right there. We got so many swords. Lot of swords in the yeah. The sword catches the eye. Uh, okay, uh, keep it simple. Has a movie studio, producer, director, etc., ever tried to bribe you not to review a movie? Uh, wait, 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 trying to bribe me not to review a movie? In fear of what your review would do to it. Usually they bribe me to review a movie. Don't care, I'll get us a ticket. Um, Fair point. I'm trying to think. I. There's one I can't talk about yet, and it did have to tie in with the strike and everything. Uh, like, I'm trying to see where things go with kind of where's the fair use. I don't think I want to say it, don't want to say it, but uh, there was one that pulled a pretty douchey move. Um, but uh, no, the closest we got was probably just was so. Uh, oh, my son. And even then, when we finally yeah. just put it back on, and he was just like, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Is there a reason that you've been doing less and less bum review videos? Oh, why am I not doing many bum reviews? It's just because they're working. It's a big surprise I get the way. You know, like, I mean, to cut the engines and stuff, I mean, it's like just coming out here and then getting home, you know, on Sunday. It's like it's hard. And then doing a review as soon as I get back, it's hard to, you know, see Independence Day 2. You know, like, cool, I see that. In other words, it's all your fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you! Yep, if you want. Change! <laughs> He's gamefully employed to the critic we've seen on several pages. <laughs> I mean, there's one episode I want to do where we actually, because it's like, you know, I want to that like the critic only pays him like he change like a quarter each review. <laughs> and even like the building he said, it's not really a building, it's just a white wall outside. <laughs> 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 but I haven't gotten around to doing that yet, but I really want to because I like that idea. Uh, uh, oh, Make them 
what we want to do with them. We kind of need like have like newer cameras and stuff like that, but we're finally getting to the point where we can get those. So uh, we don't we don't want to give it away, but some, there's some cool stuff going. Yeah. Maybe we use the pop quiz hot shot or anything. <laughs> <laughs> general? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's do the um, uh, let's do the posters over there. Me? The, the person holding up the three posters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, when are you, what are you ever going to do Looney Tunes back in action? I actually wanted to, I wanted to do a review of all the Looney Tunes movies, actually. I love that. Kind of as an editor, yeah, because I, I like talking about the ones where they use the cartoons in them as well, they try to tie it together. I want to talk about Quack Busters. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind talking about Space Jam again, strangely enough. Oh, God, uh, you know, just like, because it is one of those movies, even though I really don't like it, I do strangely appreciate it for, like, just what a time capsule of 90s it is. Uh, and I'm kind of fun about that. Yeah, I want to talk about that in action, because that's a... That's a fascinating, almost good disappointment. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, you were so close, like, you're definitely closer than Space Jam, but it's like, ow, like, this didn't quite work, but you were just like, yeah, missed it by that much, you know, kind of thing. So, uh, I'll do the Lady Jim's movie set at some point, I definitely really want to. Uh, let's see, let's do, uh... Hello. One of my most favorite videos of yours is when you did that interview with the producers of Peter Maniacs. Yeah. I did see what I thought was a pretty cool Krillin cosplay, but then it turned out to just be a dude. 
play a ball, dude. <laughs> Constant 
Mighty Morphin nostalgia trip with it because like the many teams have come before it. And they did this with the Boom uh, comics too. Many teams came after that, but they were the original. Okay, the thing is, I like the original as much as anyone else, but it wasn't that good. Yes. <laughs> there have been, there's been such many you know, improvements on the show just over the last 20 years. And downgrades too, but still improvements. So, so, so. I like the fact that Boom Studios actually is improving on that. I don't know if the movie will or not. I like that they're putting forth a genuine effort to make it better, so here's open. Uh, people ask me my opinions about What's Her Face being the, uh, the uh, Elizabeth Banks being Andrew Repulsa. The thing is, I'm not familiar with her works. I just remembered of, oh, that's the, that's the woman who had JD's baby on Scrubs. <laughs> I have no other opinions about her. I haven't seen The Hunger Games. So yeah, here's hoping it'll be good. Let's uh, go for... Uh, let's go back to this side. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you ever think about doing any more Nicholas Cage? Yeah, Nicholas Cage part. Uh, <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Uh, Nicholas Cage. Well, they've got Nicholas Cage here. <laughs> <laughs> My friends and I have my friends and I get together every other week for a movie for, for our own movie night where we just watch you know good movies bad movies whatever. We had Nicolas Cage night for a year. <laughs> oh my God, the sheer breadth of Nicolas Cage from the enjoyable to the awesome to the what were you even doing here, man? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, like a lot of like on an island. Emphasis on the half. Apparently, he used all his own uh, vehicles during some movies like Drive Angry and, uh, and, like, and like Ghost Rider. That gives you an idea of why he's doing so many movies. So cool. Uh, let's see here. Let's do, uh, let's do just a white other day. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, uh, you've got a lot of conventions. And Daphne and I actually run a Kansas Harassment Organization. And we were wondering what your thoughts are on I, you know, I, I sadly do not, you know, I try to walk around conventions and stuff, but I mean, I, I know that this stuff doesn't happen, like, on the surface, it's more like when people sort of, like, go away and hang out in groups, or just hanging out, you know, it's not like, it doesn't happen in front of celebrities as much, at least that I know, so I trust it's going on. I think it's weird, uh, and if I didn't add, you know, I, I don't get it, I mean, I know this cosplay is not consent is, it has to be a legitimate thing, because I just see it everywhere. Uh, so, yeah, and I think it's like there are some people that, you know, a lot of people that come out to these are like, you know, really cool and nice and they get the cool outfits and stuff, but I also know there's a lot that don't always leave the house that much, and when they see, you know, a beautiful whatever that's gonna be, they're not used to this right next to me, must do something stupid. <laughs> that, 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 that's not good, that's not fair, you know, if anything, I think it should increase going out and socializing with more people and getting, you know, this etiquette, this human etiquette, just human decency. Uh, so I don't know if it's always like, hey, person, person does that equal evil, I think it could possibly, I mean, some definitely are, but I think it could be more just like, equal some sort of like, just awkward, non-social part of them that they're not familiar with, but they need desperately to get familiar with. Unfortunately, it's not always, it's just that. I mean, harassment that I've, uh, that I've witnessed before and heard about is not just, you know, the awkward people, but the people who just genuinely are toxic people. Are they, are they, 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 they are, they're assholes. They, they, think, they think they're being funny. They think, oh, you, they honestly think the cosplay is not consent thing it is, is stupid. They think that, well, you are obviously... Of course it's consent! <laughs> yeah, it, it, no, it, it is honestly that kind of attitude. They are that kind, that kind of people because they think, well, you're obviously putting yourself on display, therefore, what I, whatever I do is okay, that kind of thing. It's it's a it's a real problem. It ain't. <laughs> you know, if a guy walks around like a Joel Schumacher fat nipple, that doesn't mean press my nipples. <laughs> it, it just means you know they like the Joel Schumacher movie. You know, all those of them. I gotta give that to the chair. So we got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, with all like, the talks like the least favorite stuff and Joker, I am surprised. Melvin, the brother of the Joker, never came out of the Yeah, I'm so shocked that there was a Joker. We killed him during a live stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did that for a second. The guy with him, Rod in hell. Uh, I would just like to ask, like, has there ever been like something that you've been like so excited for? Like people have been like hyping up for you, and then you saw it, or like you read it, or you played it, and it was just garbage. Like the worst thing ever. Uh, 
I mean, yeah, but I'm trying to think. Uh, like, people actually built it up, and I thought it was Uh, actually, I, I'm probably being way too mean to it, but I just love the story so much. I know it's not garbage, but I really was disappointed when it was the new Jungle Book. I really didn't like that. Uh, the, new, the new Jungle Book, I really didn't like. Uh, and I'm very excited for this Andy Circus one. Uh, he's coming out, and I'm like, we need to scare kids. We need to make them uncomfortable. And I'm like, I am so pro that. Because uh, I grew up, like, with Return to Oz and all these scary movies, and I adored them. Care about what you care about. And with that said, we gotta go, guys. Let's